I'm with uh, Andrew Pegram on a little walk about street photography and uh, we've just wandered down the towpath from Broadway Market and uh, we've taken a pause here and Andrew's been identifying some of the uh, graffiti here. But Andrew, what is street photography? Recap for me a bit. Okay, street photography isn't just about taking photographs in the street. Taking photographs, for instance, on canal towpaths or in parks or in any public space can be street photography. And it doesn't have to be urban, but mostly street photography has an urban background. And it's a recording of a particular time and place, capturing a precise moment. Uh, it says that when we look back in years to come, we'll see how old place was at a given time. And uh, you're doing this for the Amazings? With the Amazings? Tell me a bit about that. Okay, the Amazings are a, a group of older people, people who are not in the first flush of youth, who are uh, running courses on different things. I'm running on street photography. Yeah, that was a train, I think. Yeah, you were saying the Amazings. Just re uh, yes. <laughs> rewind uh, that one. Rewind that one. Um, and people who are not in the first flush of youth, who are able to teach special skills that they've developed over their lives, and impart those to other people, to groups of people like you're with me today. So that makes me, apparently, an amazing. I love it. So what does it take to be an amazing? Just uh, have, a, have a little skill and be prepared to give it out. Exactly. So go and look online. And uh, if you have an amazing skill, which might be video photography or something like that, you could teach it. And what are we going to do now? We're going to walk back along Mare Street towards the uh, library where we met in the first place. First we talked about it, then we did it, and then we'll recap and look at what we've done, what we've taken looking all the time for a few street photography opportunities like today's.